Hello, this is Jason Gregerson. This is going to be a quick review of how to complete the square. So I have this quadratic. I want to rewrite it into the form of a perfect square. In other words, I want to rewrite it as some quantity x plus something squared plus or minus this extra piece, this perfect square form. Now, to do that, recall that x plus some number squared is equal to x squared plus 2b times x plus b squared. That's what I'll get if I expanded x plus b quantity squared. Okay. So the idea is I can kind of look at this relationship and say, okay, well, what if I had something like x squared plus 8x, for instance? Like, what would be the extra piece that would need to be here so I could rewrite this as the perfect square? x plus something. And really, if we look at our form, all we have to do is figure out what this b piece would be. And we know that 2b has to be the coefficient of x. So if I take that 8 and divide it by 2, I can figure out that b has to be 4. And that lets me know this last piece would have to be b squared, or 16. And so if there was a 16, this would be the perfect square that looks like x plus 4 quantity squared. So the relationship is that if I take this coefficient, divide it by 2, and then square the result, I know what this extra piece is. And that if that piece was there, the perfect square would be x plus b quantity squared. OK, so that's the general idea. Now let's see how we can apply that to our problem and complete the square. I start by factoring out the 2 because I really want my leading coefficient to be 1. So I rewrite this as 2 times the quantity x squared minus 2x plus 13 halves. Now this is 2 times the quantity x squared minus 2x. Well, what do I want to be here? What's the value that I would put there to make this a perfect square? Well, I take this coefficient here, 2, and I divide it by 2, and I square the result. 2 divided by 2 is 1. If I square the result, I get 1. I really wish this was plus 1. I can't just add this 1 here, so instead I'll add 1 and subtract 1. And so you can see I haven't changed the value. All I've done is add 0 inside here. But what I've really done is just separated this extra piece out so that I have that 1 that I needed to make this a perfect square. Now I rewrite this as 2 times all this stuff is now x minus 1 quantity squared. And I just clean up the rest of this by taking 13 halves minus 1 to get 11 halves. And last, I can distribute the 2. Oops. And that should be my result. So hopefully this helps. If not, let me know. Send me another email. Uh, thanks for your time.